Hello, I'm John Thurston, and I'm honored to serve the people of Arkansas as Secretary of State. As an Arkansan, voting is a crucial part of our democracy and allows your voice to be heard on matters that are important to you. Some Arkansans are unable to vote on Election Day. For those that want to do their civic duty but are unable to vote on Election Day, early voting is an option. My staff and I are working together to address some of the questions regarding voting and elections through an informative video series. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this series and we hope you will find this important information on early voting helpful. Hi there, and welcome back to our election video series. Maybe you have to work on election day, or you'll be traveling, or just have a crazy schedule on Tuesdays. Lucky for you, in Arkansas, early voting is an option available for you to vote before election day. We have already discussed the steps of the absentee and UOCAVA voting process, but in this episode, we are going to look at early voting. Available in all counties, early voting is an alternative to absentee voting. Early voting follows the typical processes used to vote on election day. Early voting is available to any qualified elector who applies to the designated early voting location. This includes a county clerk's office or other locations designated by the county election commission. Early voting locations may be different from the location you would use on election day. Your local newspapers will also publish the designated times and locations. Early voting starts 15 days before a primary or general election seven days before any other elections, and must conclude at 5 p.m. on the Monday before the election. Counties may offer one or more locations for early voting within the county. Regardless of how many are offered in a county, an early voting location will operate just like a traditional polling location on election day. Election poll workers will confirm registered voters by verifying their names and photo ID to the voter roll. A voter will then be issued a ballot based on where he or she lives. That voter will then vote and return that ballot immediately, just like on election day, by placing the ballot in a tabulator designated and secured for early voting. The count on these devices cannot be accessed or released until election day to prevent election issues. So there you have it, the process of early voting and the steps you can take to vote early. Regardless of how you vote, remember this. Election integrity and ballot security are of the utmost importance to both county and state election officials here in Arkansas, and your understanding of these processes helps make them more secure. Thanks for being a part of the process, and I'll see you again soon.